Let's look at the other big issue this week in Parliament terms. You've got the childcare reforms being introduced, but I think the one that's going to be scrutinised most is the Federal Corruption Commission. Oh, absolutely. It's such a big change to federal politics. The biggest business of the Parliament this week comes on Wednesday with this Federal National Anti-Corruption Commission, that's what it's going to be called, that legislation to be tabled or moved, in fact, in the House on Wednesday. I think there is just as much chance of the opposition teaming with the government to pass this as there is the Greens and Independents. I revealed yesterday that the Commission will not be as hardline as the New South Wales ICAC. For example, as I revealed on Sunday Agenda, it will require a public interest test to be met for public hearings to be held and investigations. There won't be public hearings in every investigation. Every, now, everyone from Adam Bant, the Greens leader, to Bob Catter, everyone in terms of the crossbench, has put out a statement through independent Helen Haynes's office this morning saying what they want to see in this legislation. And you can safely read from this what the government is failing to commit to thus far. They want strong whistleblower protection, including through a whistleblower protection commissioner, statutory oversight mechanisms, well, I think they might get that, budgetary protection, independence and funding, transparency, the ability for own motion investigations into so-called grey corruption, so not just traditional corruption, they want investigated decisions that benefit associates or networks. They also want the Commission to be able to find people outside of government who seek to influence government to be corrupt. It may well be the Coalition have less asks than the crossbench in terms of these laws. Now, Mark Dreyfus and Julian Lisa have been negotiating on this, but so I understand have Anthony Albanese and Peter Dutton. But Mark Dreyfus spoke about a couple of these issues in question time. Now, listen carefully to what he says here, because he says third parties can be investigated. He doesn't confirm people outside of being public officials can have corruption findings against them. The Australian people voted for a government which will deliver a powerful, transparent and independent National Anti-Corruption Commission. In relation to third parties, the Commission will have broad powers to investigate allegations of serious or systemic corruption of or by a public official. If the Commission considers that the administration of a particular discretionary grants program gives rise to a serious or systemic corruption issue, then the Commissioner will have the ability to investigate that issue. And he also seemed to fudge a bit around whether it can investigate pork barrelling. says it can, but it won't be part of the legislation, if you like. It would have to involve serious and systemic corrupt conduct. Well, no state commission has investigated pork barrelling, and they typically have that serious and systemic corrupt conduct definition. So it seemed to me he was trying to give some hope or something to the crossbenchers and the Greens, right. but they might not get exactly what they want.